that's astronomical numbers. Yes, yes. You shit yourself twice. That's a fucking lot, Marcos. I'm sorry. We moved a fucking gen. <laughs> I am so tired of moving. We're gonna we're gonna work on the sound a little bit. We're we're in a new studio now. Um but I'm excited for this. There's a lot of possibilities in this studio. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I'm interested to see where it goes. Look I just show up. Yeah, yeah. That's that's all you need to do. I'm the hot girl. <laughs> and I want to jump right into this. Sure. I got a bunch of questions from people to ask you, right? Asking nuts. Segment that Marcos never introduces like that. Ask the nuts. We're just going to let everything fly. Sack talk. Can you shut the fuck up and nope. let me introduce it? <laughs> Sack talk. Go ahead, Marcos, with your hairy ass legs. Are you ever uncomfortable when you go outside showing your legs? No. Like because of how hairy they are? No, no, no. I'm good. That's interesting. Yeah. As long as you can see my leg tattoos, then you're fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Anything to show tattoos. All right. All right. As an adult, when's the last time you shit yourself? I have never shit myself. Don't. Okay. I want you to be completely honest. I'll be completely honest. You have to shit yourself as an adult. As far back as I can think. And I'll hold myself to at least 12, 11 on like daily shit. I've never shit myself. I don't believe you. It's not my fault you shit yourself playing with your dog. <laughs> All right? Okay. okay. I shit myself like seven months ago. Yeah. You've also shit yourself multiple times as an adult. No, no. Not like. Says a lot. Like twice, dude. A lot. One, That's a lot. One, one was because. Yo, if somebody was like, I've been raped twice. You're like, That's a fucking shit ton. Like, yeah. you feel so bad. You feel bad already. But yeah. it's like. That's astronomical numbers. Yes, yes. You shit yourself twice. That's a fucking lot, Marcos. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be the one to break that one to you. <laughs> but one one was like an accident. The other one They're was all like, accidents. Yeah, but like the other one was like I was on BART and somebody jumped in front of the train and I was stuck in there forever mm. and I really had to go. Like my stomach was already hurting. No excuse. Be an adult. <laughs> shit yourself be a man no hold your shit <laughs> be an adult you what know, is wrong with you, you don't know that guy the uh lean with your or no lift with your leg or lift with your back not your legs be a man <laughs> you've never seen that guy probably but i probably uh, thought it was dumb that's like dumb uh, that's, th those are dumb jokes he's he's one of the let best. me just say the opposite of what you're supposed to do and yeah, say yeah. be a man yeah all right all right is there ever a situation where you sit down when you pee? Yeah, all the time. I'm 30 years old and a lazy fuck. Oh, okay, me too. I, I sit down when I pee. All I the feel time. like a bitch when I do it, but like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I definitely sit down when I pee sometimes. Okay, I know there's going to be guys out there that are like, oh, you never sit down, blah, blah, blah. It, okay. Such a man. Such a man, yeah. I like the option to poop, one, because I like don't know if I have to poop until I sit down. Pause, sorry. I'm not a child. So I do it out of pure laziness. It's not because I don't know if shit's going to fall out of my ass. Like this guy who just admitted on shitting himself as well. So he has obviously a whole different problem. But go ahead. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> You're burning yourself on this episode, dude. It was so early in the episode. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, next question. Have you ever measured yourself down there? And how big are you? Be honest. Do you want me to say? Yeah. <laughs> I don't are you going to make me feel bad? I don't think you want me to say. Should I go first to... I don't think you want me to say either way. I think if you go first, you really won't want me to say. I'm going to laugh at your number and I know it. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually... I'm fine. I'm six inches. I'm fine. Mm. I'm not five and a half. Mm. Okay. No, I'm actually six. <laughs> I swear. I swear I'm six foot three. <laughs> I should make you call somebody to fucking. <laughs> no, no, no. Isn't my dick six inches? <laughs> no, you gotta call somebody other than your fucking brother, dude. <laughs> Who else would I call? Hopefully a girl that's seen your dick. Oh. Dumbass. <laughs> what is. 
I don't know what's going on today. <gasps> Bro, I didn't even think, that didn't even cross my mind. You know how I used to measure when I was a kid? Because huh. it was kind of like weird to like be like, mom, I need a tape measure real quick and then run right. into the bathroom. Right. So I used to take a toilet paper roll and just measure like with the idea of like how much sticks out the other side. <laughs> So I'll say my whole tip goes out the other side all the way. And I'm circumcised. So all the way down to the little flappy skin. Yeah. Okay. But that doesn't mean I can't tell you back. You're that much bigger than me. I can't tell you how. No, but I'm saying I can't tell you how like I, I last time I took a fucking measuring tape to my dick. I can't remember that. So what, I had to be like in average? high school. What would you average? Well, your dick hasn't grown since high school. No, my you, dick's definitely grown since high school. If you haven't grown, your dick hasn't grown. I've grown three inches since I graduated high school. <laughs> your dick has not grown three inches. Not three. No, 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 no. I'm not crazy <laughs> enough to be like my dick grew three inches. I grew Bro. as a person. But I'm, I was countering your <laughs> argument, saying I haven't grown since high school. I graduated at like 5'6". I'm like 5'9 okay. now. Okay, okay. And that happened post like, like I'd say like 20 years old. But I'd, I'd say I got an easy inch on my dick. When, I'd probably guess, if I if I really had to guess, I'm like, I don't know. Don't say anything over eight because you're not. No, 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 no. I'm like, I'd probably say like seven and like at the most, like seven, maybe a, seven and a quarter, something like that. I have a hard time believing that, but okay. Ask when, Kendra. When, when is, when do you think like every guy first is like, I got to measure this shit? First time he gets a boner or or depends on how like how you think the first time you hear somebody go, you got a little dick and then people start measuring. But the fucked up part is Uh, you got no comparison. Right. Because you start measuring. You're like, damn, I got five. Is that big (laughs) or small? Damn, I got six. Is that big or small? Like you have no idea. (laughs) Yeah. And people like throwing that shit around no matter what you have. Yeah. 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 That's why I always used to do it based like reference on other shit. Like That's, shit that people knew. Okay, I get that. Like I the toilet that. paper roll, everyone has one of those. I can't. It's hard to like get through it because it's tight. Bro, you're not that thick either. Ask Kendra. <laughs> I don't know. Why if I would I lie? Ask. Why would I lie about my dick? I don't know if I want to ask Kendra. You have people that you can very easily like ask, like Kendra and shit like that. Why would I? That it makes no sense to lie. Yeah. Now, if I said I got a nine-inch dick and I'm not doing fucking OnlyFans, yeah. then I'm a liar. But like, I have a slightly above-average dick. Okay, okay, I'll believe you. I still think if you're six, you're like a pinky, just long and dangly. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> My dick is a, an average size. It's not. I mean, average on you. You're a very petite man. That's true. But like six. You ever inches, heard that Chris Rock joke? Which one? Where they're like, uh, "Dick is just the reference for the body it's on." So uh, that's why they say like like skinny like the the thing is tall skinny dudes have a big dick, right? Mm-hmm. But they probably have the same size dick as a guy that's the same height as them. But they're so skinny, the 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 base that you're comparing it to mm-hmm. makes it look bigger. Got so, like, you. if you're 6'5 and, like, 180 pounds right. or 6'5 and 240, I mean, they're both tall men, but one's a big guy. That right. big guy's dick is probably going to look smaller on him right. than that guy, but they could be exactly the, the same. same. Yeah. So, I'm like, you know, okay, skinny guy, skinny dick. That makes sense. That makes sense. Unless right. you used to be fat. All right. Number four. If you woke up a woman tomorrow... What is the first thing you're doing? I mean, like I didn't plan for it. I just woke up that you just way. just woke up a woman. I probably wouldn't even realize until I went for my piss and shit in the morning. That'd be the... F- if I woke up and like I usually wake up... I wake and like up... adjust my boner a little bit. And so like if I woke up and I was like, oh, it's not there. What the heck? And then I felt something else. I'd be like... I'm just going to play with this for a little bit. <laughs> I sleep butt-ass naked, so there's no adjusting anything. You sleep anything. naked? Yeah, I have a fiancé. What the fuck do you think is what going it, on? You don't... But that doesn't feel weird to you? What? I can't sleep butt-naked, dude. Why? 
Cause it just feels weird. You seem like you sleep in your clothes in your bed, though. No, no, I sleep like with a shirt and my underwear. That's it. What shirt though? Do you have a nighttime, a nighty shirt, I, or is it the I shirt wear, of like, the day? Three different shirts a day. So I have the shirt I go to sleep in after I take a shower, and then I have my work shirt, and then the shirt that when I come home and change, like. Yeah, no, I I, I live with my fiance. It's easy access. Also, I don't have parents walking around that could potentially open my door. That's true. So definitely, I sleep naked. I've slept I've slept butt ass naked since I moved out. No <sighs> lie, it's. That's, it's great. That's the problem with having roommates. I walk around. <laughs> I start getting coffee ready and shit. But as but ass naked, bro. I say good morning to my dog. So when I go to your house, uh, for the what's it called for your party? Yeah, but it won't be at our house. But yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Nope. Oh, okay. So then potentially, if it was at your house and I sat on your couch, I would have been sitting where you were butt ass naked drinking coffee. No. Who? Why would I sit on my couch butt ass naked? Well, if you're fine being butt naked everywhere. I'm walking around butt naked, dumbass. I sleep in my bed butt ass naked. <laughs> Can I tell you a story? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> One time, me and my ex, we waited till Thanksgiving t- <laughs> for all her roommates to leave. She lived in uh, the Cal dorms. Okay. Right? And we, our idea was that we wanted to fuck on top of everything and <laughs> everywhere in that apartment. You're gross. <laughs> so we did. You're gross. <laughs> I could be, you could be on your last leg and ask to be my roommate for a weekend, and I would tell you no. I'm a lot You'd more. fucking come in and just start coming on windows. I'm no a reason. lot more aware now that that was very wrong. Because I know your ass didn't clean shit. No, we did You're not. You're fucking that was, gross, that was, that was bro. Like the, the, nah, that's gross. She also hated her roommates, and that's why we did it. But, like. Why not just be actually disrespectful and just, like, fuck in their beds? <laughs> We didn't do that. No, we we were. Well, let's be disrespectful because <laughs> I hate them, but we won't touch none of their stuff. We'll just do it in the common area where we also eat. You guys are fucking idiots. How'd she get into <laughs> Berkeley? Jesus Christ. It might have been like also my idea. <laughs> of course it was. I know your ass didn't get into Berkeley. <laughs> no. <laughs> Private school got you nowhere. All right. This is a real one. These all have been real. Honestly, how long when you watch porn, right? How long does it find take to find the perfect video? I mean, like, because, dude, mm. I on plenty of occasions, Mm -hmm. I swear that I have come just off the the previews of watching so many previews. You watch too much porn (laughs) because I couldn't find the right video. Way too much porn. Like I do watch a I've, lot of porn. No, the reason I can say that is I have also had times where I watched an like an insane amount of porn. Yeah. But like now cuz I What's don't, an insane amount of porn to you though? Bro, I used to try to break records when I was in like summer vacation in high school. I tried and hit like 15, 20 nuts a day. a day. Yeah. Like and I'd see how many days I could do that for. Literally, it gets to the point where like you're dry my, as like fuck. 3 days later, it's like uncomfortable. Yeah. For it to like it's like, I feel my body's like, oh, God, yeah. dude, quit. Like, fuck. I'm like, oh, all right. Fucking take a two-minute break. But, like, legitimately, bro, like, in high school, it used to be, like, laptop on bed, in bed. I'd watch, beat off, and then not even close the laptop mm-hmm. or move. Yeah. I would just wait. Yeah. And then do it again. Yeah. Like, I was an insane person. Now, I feel like it wouldn't it wouldn't take long. Like, <laughs> yeah. I can't, it's, mm, I'd probably, I'm not going to lie, if I opened up my phone and was looking for porn now, and I didn't see something that, like, I wanted to finish to within, like, five minutes, I think my brain would just start talking in my head, like, we're over this. Mm. This this is dumb. Yeah. Give this up. And, like, that, yeah. But before, I, I, I've been there, but, like, like, I've been to the point to where, like, I got to the, b- the back page. Yeah. And then you're like, damn. That's like 700 pages. This was all of them. Yeah. And you're like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Okay. On average night, I spend at least 20 minutes looking for the right video. And then, you know, you end up settling on one. And... I don't have like, time for some- that. Sometimes, like, you, you don't even need the sex part. You just need the storyline. I don't have time for that. Yeah. I mean... I'm it, not gonna lie. It happens. 
things. It's just too much time spent, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like you're te- if you're telling me 20 minutes every single night, bro, that's, I mean, a, sometimes, I mean, that's a job. Like, I have, like, my good ones ready. Like, that's my a favorite job. ones ready. That's a job. No, it's like, for the week. Like, I know which ones I like. I know which ones I can always go back to, which my f- my favorite stars. Too much. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> like, I, I don't follow... Like, I used to, don't get me wrong. That's what I'm saying. I used to be there. I don't follow anybody. I don't follow porn star. I did did that before I even got in my relationship. I cut out, like, all hot Instagram hoes, all porn stars, all that kind of shit that I used to follow. Because I'm like, when I think, when I thought about it at that time, I was like, this is borderline creepy. Like, I don't know any of these people. Mm -hmm. And my only... My only reason of following them is I want to fuck them. I'm yeah. one step away from like putting their faces on boards and like figuring out where they work and like like that shit. It that's what it made me feel like. Uh, you, I, you know, too, you're in way too deep. Um, I think. Eh. Okay, so what do you think about guys that subscribe to like OnlyFans and stuff? I think you're in too deep. I think I would relate it to the same way if a girl was like, "Yeah, so like, have you heard about this murderer?" And I'm like. No, and they're like, oh, I watch all their stuff. Like, oh, I'm so psyched about them. I write to them in fucking jail and everything. And it's like those people who are like obsessed with shit in that way. It's weird. That's a that's a kind of a different situation. It's not that different. The sexes are reversed, but guys do that. <laughs> G- girls do it like like girls do it because there's a fantasy they actually want to be with them. Guys do it even creepier. You just want to nut to them, not even in them, not with them. Mm-hmm. You just want to nut to them. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, totally. I don't have OnlyFans. I mean, no <laughs> no bullshit. R- remember we talked about this months ago? If you watch porn, you're a cuck. Inherently, you're a cuck. Oh, you know what? I've never posted that video. Oh, wow, I dude. have it in my drafts still. I if, actually watched it last night. If you watch porn, you are a cuck. You are just watching other people fuck. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Your third eye's in the room. That's it. It doesn't matter what you watch. You're a cuck. It's the new age cuck. That's what it, you said. It's the cuck that everyone is comfortable with. Right. But that's weird. You're a peeping Tom. In old days, you'd be a peeping Tom. But it's more accepted now, the idea of porn. Which is also weird. You know what's weird to me? Is that guys that, like, everyone knows guys watch porn and stuff like that. Girls do too. Girls do too, sure. But it's like, if girls watch it, if they have toys and stuff, it's okay for them to have toys. It's okay for them to like, oh, girl, get your shit on, blah, blah, blah. But if, Who says that? Who talks like that? I don't know. I'm Other just girls? making that shit up. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I don't know that any. That was the gayest you've ever been on this podcast. I don't know any girls for real. <laughs> you just did like an act out of like a sleepover and you thought that's how they talk. Fucking idiot. <laughs> I saw a girl in the movie one time you know, <laughs> and that's what they sounded like. Um, but if a guy has a sex toy or something like that, that's creepy. Why is that? Because guys are creepy. In we did. General. We do. I. I don't know if it was you or someone else. Oh no! I think actually it was JD, who had mentioned that girls have like a dildo, mm-hmm. one or two. They have a vibrator, and then guys just have like fucking fucking full on sex dolls. Because they're creepy. But that's all they really make for guys. I mean, I'm sure they make a lot more. But guys are the ones that make the sex toys. So guys make what they think guys want. <laughs> that's true. And guys buy it. That's pocket true. pussies and sex dolls. That shit is crazy. <laughs> I got a story for you about a pocket pussy. I don't want your story on a pocket pussy. Can we move on? <laughs> no, I got Because I really don't need this no, right this now. This wasn't mine. I was having a good day. Yeah, hold on. I was having a shit day, so I need this. Go on and tell me about your pocket <laughs> pussy. <laughs> this, okay, this was not my pocket pussy. It is somebody. I'll tell you whose it was after. Right? I can't say it. Right. Yeah, you can. No. JD? No, no, no. Corday? Nope. Nando? Nope. Your piano player? No. He's, his name is also JD, by the way. But no. Roddy Rich? No, no, Roddy Rich. Your dad? Nope. You can keep guessing. I'm not going to tell you right now. Portland cousin, because he looks like he'd no. have one. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I fuck with you, but you look like you'd have a pocket pussy. I'm sure he probably has. He lives in Portland. I just talked to him has. last night, and he was like, I need to get out of this school. It's too Christian. <laughs> He's like, I didn't know it was a Christian college. Dude, don't let me bring my pussy, pocket pussy to school. But anyways, so this person I know got a pocket pussy. And he was like telling me like, yo, 
I'm hella pissed. And I go, why? And then he opens his drawer and he shows me. He goes, it came fucking melted. It was slimy as fuck. No shape to it whatsoever. And he was like, I don't know how to like send this back. And be like, hey man, you gave this shit to me all gooey. And I was like, I was in awe that this person actually bought a pocket pussy. <laughs> Wait, it's more weird to you that a guy buys a pocket pussy no, than that this subscribes person that to I a only knew bought a pocket pussy. Oh, personally. Personally. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. was a little too close, and I was like, yo, what the fuck? When did you get that? And are you that fucking lonely? It's Nando's pocket pussy. <laughs> Hey, Nando, it's all good, my boy. I'm sorry he just outed you on this podcast. It's not. That's crazy, bro. How dare you put your brother out like that? He's got a whole girlfriend, bro. Let's just start making shit up about everyone we know. No, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm right on that one. I'm not going to lie. I swear to God, if you say it to him after, I'm bringing that shit up next week. (laughs) It's fucking Nando. Nando or He's JD fucking, you keep assuming. It's literally Nando or JD No Okay should we just move on since you're not gonna get this I mean I wanted to move on before you told me this story Um Okay oh How do you get rid of an unwanted boner what? You, you a tucker Like a, a A waistband tucker Or do you just kinda like ride it out Well, give me a scenario. Okay. Um, I need something to build on that because that's too vague. Okay. You're at the grocery store. You're just like, Kendra gives you a text, says, hey, I need some ice cream and bananas. And you're like, okay. And it's kind of cold, but you're wearing shorts. And all of a sudden, boop. I'm not 13. No, just say, say it happens. All right. So, all right. I'm at Safeway. I grab the bananas. I'm grabbing some ice cream. Cold dick boner for no reason. Cold just dick pops boner up. for no reason. What do I? What am I wearing? Am I in this outfit? Mm, no, too easy. Uh, Stop looking at my dick. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with? Oh my god, dude, bro, you just did like a fucking half second pause trying to figure out I was like, no, where my dick would go. I was like, those pants are too easy, and that just like locked eyes with your dick. <laughs> that was the most uncomfortable call out ever. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is getting weird. Bro to bro, I apologize for that. It's all good. That was... that was. Don't wrong. look at me while we pound it, but you know? <laughs> I can't. I can't look at you now. That was... <laughs> so I'm in this outfit. Um, next week, there's going to be a new host of Two Nuts with Zach. <laughs> 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 he fires me after that. Can't look at Ryan. He fucking sexually assaults me with his eyes and then fires me. <laughs> What the fuck? I worked at a bar one time and I was just like, this girl just had like big old titties. And I was staring at her boobs one day. She was like, you just staring at my tits? And I was like, yeah, sorry. I was like 19. No, you're dumb. She was like, you should have just been like. She was like, they nice? I was like, yeah. You should have been like, yeah, they're really nice. You want a shot for that? No, she was my coworker. She was my coworker. Y'all act like y'all don't drink. Oh, yeah, we did. I mean, we did. Fuck, that took forever. Yeah, you're really bad at these questions. Um, <laughs> if I had to, uh, it's hard. I have to tuck boners nowadays. Like if I have them at the house, it's just a fucking boner at the house. Yeah, but like that doesn't. And if I'm in jeans, it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, like if I was in basketball shorts, I'm a ball tucker. It's easier okay. for my dick to go down than for it to come up. If it comes up, then it'll be like out the waistband. So like yeah. if yeah, I yeah. go, I just tuck the balls in the thighs and then my dick goes straight down. Is there something that you can do to get rid of your boner or your morning wood? I'll tell you one thing that I learned when I worked at the Disney Museum. If I sneeze while I have a boner, it turns me off. And I realized that with my ex too, I don't know why. It's not that she didn't have a cute sneeze or anything. But sneezing turns me off. That is a, a legit thing. That's that's funny. Um, it's a, it's very weird, I know, but it's just one of those things. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like, 
I'd say like post 25, maybe. Like I'm like I'm 29 now. I would say that if I'm not gonna have sex, then my boner goes away. Yeah. So like I can get excited in a moment, like me and Ken Make it flirting around or whatever, and like like it's funny, but like like the fantasy pops up or something yeah. boner, and then like I just check into reality, and I'm like. Oh, we're sitting here. Right. Not going to have sex. Boner just instantly. Right. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> You're like, we're so in a dog ju- park right now. I just look at reality, and that gets rid of my boner. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you know, it makes me lose my boner. I look at my bank account; <laughs> it just goes straight down. Nah, not anymore. Oh, yours? <laughs> no, I look at mine and it goes down. You look at yours; it goes up. Yeah, I was gonna say not anymore. Mine, mine is decent these days. It's okay. It's just it doesn't fluctuate. It's like yeah. it's steady, which I like. All right. Um. What? Oh, every man has a side that their dick rest on what swing left you swing left yep okay i it's because the doctor fucked me up yeah i'm actually left too so for people who don't know the doctors who do the circumcisions they don't do it all the way perfect every time so like (laughs) they just like no they're like lunch break i'm just gonna leave a bunch of skin on there bro i know we're talking about dicks a lot on this episode (laughs) mine isn't cut all the way around what do you have, like a... So it, sh- if it starts here, it goes all the way around and then stops. So I have, like, a section like this mm-hmm. that is still connected. So this part is uncircumcised. And everything else is circumcised. circumcised. Uh, yeah. Cleaning it is a bitch. Don't ask me how I do it. That's on next week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> if we have any more episodes, this is such a bad fucking episode. <laughs> Good thing I already knew what I was going to name this. Tune episode. in for Dick Talk with Marcos and Ryan. <laughs> These are going to be some great clips. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm the lefty as well. Yeah, I swing left. Yeah, um, it just feels better. There's no, I, there's very rare situations where it'd be on the right, and I. Don't notice it. I'm going to give you a scenario. Okay. You're laid up with a girl. It's Netflix and chill. Okay. That's what she invited you over for. Okay. okay? You're not at your parents. So right. You're doing what you want. You're laid with a girl. Where do you decide to lean your dick? Between her butt cheeks. No. Oh. You guys are laid next to each other. Oh, oh. But you get what I'm saying? There's like a, there's an arousal thing of like, you want her to notice your dick. Right. So then do you... If you're a natural lefty, do you swing it to the right? Oh, oh. Here's the thing. To see if, like, like when she moves or something. Maybe she'll touch it or, yeah, like, 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 you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to just be honest. I would tr- I'll try it. And after a minute or so, I'll be like, it's got a, it's got a rest left. And I will just either turn her way or just be like, yo, just touch it. Like mm. I, I can't it when it's on the right for too long, it feels uncomfortable. Even if I'm butt naked. Ah, uh, gotcha. You know, like if if you're just laying down, you're naked, just like laying it on your stomach or something like that. Like yours does not go that far. No, I'm not saying like my <laughs> belly button, but come on. But like, <laughs> we just let this podcast lie in it. <laughs> it's all right, Nando. We haven't forgot. Shout out to you. You know when you just like throw your dick over your shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you fucking wrap around your shoulder, then around your waist like a fanny pack? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> I just painted my dick like a snake and I was Britney Spears at the MTV Awards. <laughs> That's my Halloween costume. <laughs> oh fuck. Um, okay. We're we're pretty close to the end, so let's do one more. Uh as something a guy does. And we've explained this once before, but I want you to explain it a little more. The head nod. The two head nods that all men have. Do we really need to go over this? I think we should. I feel like everybody knows it. Okay. We don't have to if you if don't I, to. If I do this to you, Marcos. What, okay, what do you, what do you want if to If I do this, what's it mean? Translate it. What's that? If I do this, what's that mean? Probably won't see you again. I mean, there we go. I mean, okay, okay. Like, I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's so. I mean, there's a lot of things you can use it for. Like up can be what's up. Yes. Yeah. It can, you can answer a question like that. This 
That's like a eh, eh kind of yeah. maybe meh meh. That's what that does. This is like mm-hmm. mm-hmm. This is like meh. I just it's did not that. a no. I just did that as you. What? As you, as you were like, this is uh-huh. And I went, uh-huh. Yeah, you went caveman <laughs> on me, fucking bird brain over here. Bro, I, like, I have like zoned out four times in this podcast. <laughs> I don't remember what I've How said. do we even have a fucking podcast? I don't know. This makes no sense. All right. We're is, some lucky guys. Is there is there anything else before we go that you want to mention? It's your last fucking question. That was it. I wanted you to explain that, but then you gave me attitude, so. <laughs> I told you, this is a fun-filled, sh- quick episode. I knew what I wanted to do. How do you feel like it worked out? I think it went great. You think it went according to plan? I think it did go according to plan, actually. Oh, okay. I'm just yeah. asking. And actually, the set turned out better than I thought, too. That light could- that's flickering above us to the left above the door makes me want to hurt something. I'm not going to lie. I'm you. not going to lie. That, that noise. <laughs> that. Oh, my God. And you can't see it because you're not looking that way. But every time it makes the noise, it flickers. And it makes me want. I don't know why. It's like making me so mad. Okay. <laughs> We're going to test things out. What's a what's an anger trigger for you? Ooh. What's something that makes you angry when, just no matter what? Now when people are like obliteratedly drunk around me no, when they know I'm sober. People that I know. Why does that make you mad? Um, I can't do my shit just because you got dealing with your shit? No, okay, okay. it doesn't make me like mad. But Well, you said it, and that yeah, was the question. But I mean, <laughs> more so it upsets me. Especially, okay, I'll actually frame it like this. When I ask you, hey, can you, like, if we're going to go out, I'm struggling a little bit this week. Can you maybe not, like, get too trashed, you know, whatever? Um, if not, I can't go. You know what I mean? I was like, I was going to ask, out of respect, how would you feel? Because you're entitled to mm-hmm. ask that, right? Right. By all means, you got to speak, like, up for whatever you want, right? Right. What if that person goes, I feel that, but, but the kind of week I've had, I need to get sloshed. Yeah. So what do you want to do about it? So like, is say- that, like, a respectful, Would you would you find that, like, respectful as well or do you want them? yeah no no 100 uh, okay. be like you would just no if you okay just like, if you okay, respond because no i'm never gonna be like hey man can you like not drink a lot like i'm not gonna demean you while you're like doing what you say can you not get shit faced yeah but like i will say hey man like if if you're like hey let's go out blah blah, blah. i'm like dude i'm struggling i'm gonna tell you that first i'm having a hard week i'm like i feel like i want to drink dude i'm with you come with me blah 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 can you promise me then, like, you won't get drunk so I can have someone with me so I can feel, like, a little more comfortable? Yes, I got you. Then you get hammered. I'm You're upset. a liar. I'm upset. Yeah, well, that person's a liar. Fuck um, that. I've, and I've had that quite a few times recently. Mm. Um, and, you know, it's, it's whatever. Like, I don't hate the people, but it's just, like, I do get triggered. Because then it makes me want to drink, you know? I really do want to drink. Other than that... Nothing really makes me too mad. I'm I'm pretty good at trying to like keep myself calm and and stuff like that. What about you? What makes me really mad? Yeah. I've always struggled with this as a kid, but being in scenarios where I can't do uh where there is a dynamic of relationship or power or whatever where I can't react truly how i want to mm. so like so like if you want to get mad okay you say say you're at a, a grocery store you're coming out you're pushing your cart and like some old lady bumps into your cart but rather than like like you look up you're like oh i'm sorry like my bad like i was i was just walking in i didn't go in anybody's way you fucking hit me but like my bad still and like wants to throw like hella attitude your way and i'm like Ooh, but you're an old lady, so, like, I'm going to respect you, but, like, low-key, like, if this was another time period, I might kill your family. (laughs) Like, you know what I mean? I feel you. If there's, like, like, bro, as a kid, the people who I struggled with the most, mom and dad. Yeah. Because, like, like, my mom, bro, my mom raised me to, like, you can talk to anybody however, you can talk, everyone is equal. This is how my mom raised me. If you're five years old and someone's 30, doesn't matter. You guys are both human. 
So, like, if someone wants to talk down to you, fuck them. Talk to them however they're talking to you, that kind of yeah. shit, right? But then that shit didn't work at home. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, like, my mom would be like, if someone tells you just to do something just because, fuck that. If they don't have a good reason, don't do right. it. Right, and then she would do and it. And then my mom would be like, do this shit because I said so. And I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Like, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But that frustration of, like, yeah. but I can't do that and I can't say that. Yeah. I so, like, that. that shit, bro, that's the shit that would make me cry. Yeah. Like, as a kid, I was, like, one of those, like, I had a bad, bad, bad fucking temper before therapy. Yeah. And, like, like I'd black out in, like, anger and shit. And, like, it would be in those scenarios. Yeah. And then I'd, like, go outside and, like, break some shit or something. God. I was bad, bro. I used to set shit on fire. Like the whole shit. That shit was all like a, a nice release to me. That's actually something we should do soon is like set you on fire. No, <laughs> I could pour alcohol on you, dude. I'm, re- I'm in recovery, dude. <laughs> Rubbing alcohol, <laughs> dipshit. That's all the time we have for two nuts. I'm going to pour Hennessy on you, fucking idiot. That's all the time we have for two nuts, one sack. Thank you guys so much for watching. Asking nuts, bitch. Thank you for joining us in the brand new studio. We are going to keep making things better every episode. Join us next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching. Good job. Sure.